for the players to get warmed up before the start of the game. The NBA on 2K Sports welcomes you to Wednesday afternoon basketball. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. So the New York starting five. College teammates on the floor. Brunson, DiVincenzo, Bridges, and Hart. And it's Randall in at the center position. And for Boston, the small and power forwards, the star pair of Brown and Tatum. Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White, and it's Perzingis in at the five, roaming the paint. We've got some great guards going ahead. When they have a chance to go one-on-one, -on -one, which of these tandems can stand out against the other? Tons of pick and roll, tons of creativity, and we'll see which of these guys can pair off tonight to win this contest. They get it back, and the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. It's good from long range. DiVincenzo's got the first bucket of the game with the three for New York. White left side. It's three on three on the fast break. And Brunson has it in the corner. Randall a screen on Holiday. Brunson, that's a two-pointer, connects the jumper drops. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And Brent, three very important pieces of this Knicks roster all went to the same college and played on the same team. Now Brunson, Hart, and DiVincenzo, what a remarkable reunion it was for those three players. But to not only be together, it was about the success that they shared in the Big Apple. They all won in 2016 that collegiate championship and carrying that hard-nosed approach to the Knicks has been big in terms of paying dividends. Here's Brunson following the basket by Jalen Brown. Here's Randall. Rebound Boston. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now here's Tatum. Teardrop shot. He takes it up and lays it in. Uh, the delicate touch from the crafty swingman. Tatum continues to add to his arsenal offensively. Brunson against Holiday. Shoots from the baseline. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Now here's Tatum. Lock at six. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it's the attention to detail that sets Tatum apart from most players in our league. Boston shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Al Horford, he's checked in for Brown. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Let's send it over to David Aldridge, who caught up with head coach Joe Mazzullo. David. Now, we both had the same topic, Mikhail Bridges, and the impact he can have on the game. Coach told me he's someone we've talked about for sure. We can't let him out hustle us. That's when he does the most damage. We'll see if they can match Bridges' energy. Guys? Thank you, David. Now here is Holiday. Jalen Brunson missing his last shot. Tatum on the wing. Launches it. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Never a bad idea setting Tatum up. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. Trailing by two. Pass to Hart. Back to Brunson. Randall a screen on Holiday. From deep, Brunson trains the three-pointer. 
Brunson's got seven points in the game. How about the response from Brunson? Nailing three of his own. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. White against DiVincenzo. Horford the pass to Tatum. At three off the mark. Knicks have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. White against Brunson. Randall is screen on White. On deep, Brunson. No good on the shot. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Knicks lead by one. And we'll be back right after this. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. OG Ananobi is out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Landry Shannon. Then there's Miles McBride. And it's Robinson in at the five down low. Pass to Brown. Shot clock at six. It's hauled in by Achua. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Hananobi. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Here's Hauser. He's guarded by Ananobi. Brown feeling it out a bit. Back to Horford. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Jacks up a three. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got his second bucket tonight. Greg, you've been a part of some great contending teams over the years, but what's it like being on a team at the bottom of the stand with not a lot of hope for the regular season? Well, Kevin, no one likes losing, but it can certainly take a toll, but it can also allow you to play more freely when you know you're bad and you're not having to deal with the pressure of expectations. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Morris comes in for Achua, and it's Payne in for Landry Shamit. Round against Ananobi. Morris with the screen for Ananobi. Pass to Payne. And count it from 19 feet away. Payne's got his first basket. He had too much room given to campaign. He recognized it. Outside, Brzingis. Over Robinson. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps. Porzingis. Porzingis has got the lead. Back up to two now for Boston. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Hey, Kevin. As always with Tom Thibodeau teams, they are level-headed. He said of his Knicks, we want guys to sacrifice and put the team first. But there has to be that belief. When your best players have it, your entire team ends up having it. We know if we stay disciplined, we'll have a chance to win. Kevin? A very good chance, D.A. Thank you. The Knicks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Nick Bride passes to on an open. Payne, looking around. Pass to McBride. Morris with a screen on Holland. Here's McBride. And Horford pulls it down. Austin's gone one or two on three corners here in the second quarter so far. Here's Pritchard. Payne covering. Here's Pritchard. Scoreless thus far. Brown outside. Shoots over Ananobi. Brown, no good. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Ananobi passes to Morris. Some nice passing by New York here. 
Here's Payne. And Pritchard pulls it down. The Celtics with the lead. 30 seconds left in the first half. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Tatum, he's checked in for the Celtics. Light comes in for Pritchard. There's 21 seconds left here in the second. Brunson against Holiday. To stop the drought. And it's Brunson missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down. Oh! oh. Hey, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Austin on top. They're up by four. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just going to take it again to the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. and so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half. Just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And in the front court, Brown and Tatum. Holiday in the backcourt. To his side is White, and it's Brzingis in at the five. That's the Boston Five. You know, Brent, Josh Hart has been a contributor at the many stops in his NBA career. And sometimes you have to wait to find your home, Kevin. That's been the case for Josh, but he has always contributed to winning, and now he's locked into this role where he is flourishing. This guy has all the tools to go out there and do little things every night that help your team be in a position to win games. Here's Brown. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. Ah, Tatum an assassin! Well, you know Jason Tatum can score, and that's exactly what he's done thus far. Randall outside. Porzingis with the block. Holiday looking for an opening. Tatum against Randall. Fires from deep. And it's Jason Tatum with a three. Tatum's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. Well, this is why Tatum is a volume three-point shooter, because he knows how accurate he can be. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. He wants to talk to his guys. Now Horford checked in for Boston. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Brunson against Holiday. Randall with a screen for Brunson. Six on the shot clock. Brunson chiseling it in. And those are two points earned by Jalen Brunson. Brunson against Holiday. 
Porzingis with a screen on Bridges. Here's Brown. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Austin shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team. So you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. Pritchard, he's checked in for the Celtics. That free throw good from Brown. You got to respect the mind Brown has for the game. Both ends of the floor, he is so good at spotting the opening and taking advantage. Now, here's Ananobi. Hasn't made one yet. And it's Brunson missing. 144 and left in the third. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Horford. To the paint. Wants to get it to Brown and does. Big slam there by Brown. Just dominating the rim. Here's Brunson. He's got 11. There's 117 left in the third quarter of the game. No good with the layup. Boston leading by eight. Here's Brown. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Now, here's Ananobi. Hart, that's good. Hart does a little bit of everything on the offensive end. He creates, he can score. This time knocks down the three. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Pass to Brown. Six to shoot. Takes a three. That doesn't go either for Brown. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That'll be his second foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Some changes for Boston. Luke Cornett, he's checked in for Porzingis, and it's Tatum in for Jalen Brown. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. And hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Now here's Tatum. He's tightly guarded. No good that time. And so it's the Boston Celtics bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Setting the floor for the Knicks. They've got Precious Achua. Miles McBride out there with Landry Schempt. Then it's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Shamit. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. But he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Horford. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Boston. I like how simple they are just keeping things on offense. I mean, the mid-range area has been made available, and boy, are they taking advantage. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. And the first one at the line is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. 
Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Brown. Goes up on the wing, and he nails that one right through the net. Brown's got nine points here in the second half. And not the easiest shot on the floor, and, and Brown sticking with that one, showing his confidence. Now McBride. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Here's Hauser, defended by McBride. Brown outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Gotta stay down on that pump fake because Brown will go right into the contact. Free throw good from Brown. So both teams changing it up here. And Brown drops them both. And the timeout called here by Tom Thibodeau. And he wants to see some changes out there right away and right now. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Hey, Kevin. Well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. He told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this lackadaisical. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. Guys, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you, David. White, bounce pass. On the wing, Brown. Defended by Bridges. Brown, the pass to Persingas. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Persingas has got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. Yeah, almost impossible to stop down low at 7-3. Porzingis over the top. Brunson against Holiday. And Brunson gets it to go. Here's Holiday. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Hard against Tatum. White down low. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Brunson. Three pointer. Ah, the sweet lefty stroke of Jalen Brunson. And Brunson capable here of having these binges scoring the basketball. To the middle. Out to White. Porzingis sets the pick for White inside. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by White. we got to appreciate Porzingis, a willing screener, and he rolls quick to the open space. Takes a step back. Porzingis with the block. And here is Brown to the inside. And the dunk by Porzingis. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for Boston. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jalen Brown. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. And that one drops. And it's a 12-point Celtic lead. Making every effort to put this game 
on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Now here's Brunson from downtown. They get it again. Hart, that's good. Josh Hart. 15 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. So it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, I mean it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight you were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just go in, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play.